quick question to the drip network community should i continue these videos on into the animal farm let me present to you guys the options that you have as far as what i'm doing what other people are doing because 98 percent of the people and the influencers that are talking about forex sharks projects are under forex sharks wallet or his belt or following him directly and sharing with you guys what it is to promote his projects and not to show you what's really going on so i'm launching this video just to get you guys feedback on how i should proceed with this in the future let's get into it what's going on guys in this video i'm not gonna push or bash anyone i'm just gonna submit a question to you guys and that is am i an asset in this space is the information that i'm putting out here for you guys to receive to understand to help you understand what's going on in the ecosystem really helpful and <clears throat> i know that i have somewhat of a following I see you guys, uh, their names that have become very familiar to me, um, and I know you guys, but there's a wide community out there that does not like my information. Um, and in this video, I am just going to clearly express to all you guys in the community why I am here, why I've come here. It's not to hate drip or animal farm, it's actually to help build it, but in the interest of investors this isn't anything personal I've been burned and because I've been burned and many others have been burned my goal is to change things so that we are actually able to make profits as investors and to stop the source that's causing us to lose money <clears throat> okay now with that said let me give, give you guys a quick review of the things that I've been doing since I started this two, three months ago, back in May sometime. All right. One of the first things I did was launch this Medium article. I put this out. I put a few few videos out to reference from this article to make it easy for you guys, not just to understand, but to start taking action and set up strategies on how to change your investment in a way that is more suitable for you personally. You know, and to stop the things that are going on behind the scenes from happening. Okay. When I first launched this, this is 100% true. And if you kind of look back on it, you, you read over the article, you check out my videos, uh, particularly some of the first videos I dropped, they were strictly educational. And I referenced these videos, right, from this media, medium article to kind of break it down and show you guys what's up. So this is the information that I'm presenting. It was not readily received. It was by some and some learned from it, some grew from it, and some started extracting themselves from the system or using better strategies. I also implemented a solution. This is These are solutions now. And I also implemented Team Drip, which is a system that would have benefited everyone in the drip ecosystem that participated and even the influencers could have benefited from it i've tried to press this over and over again but it was rejected so ultimately i'm about to move over to the animal farm i'm already in the animal farm but i'm going to do deeper dives into it and i'm just going to let you guys know right now in its current state or as it has been since its launch is not a good investment okay even now going into version three there are some things that i've identified that still will make it a bad investment for investors okay i'm not going to share that information in this video i'm just going to put this out here to the community do you even care because you guys didn't listen when I shared the information about drip. A lot of you didn't. And if you don't care for my content, that's fine. And because I'm going to do the research anyway, I'll just keep the information 
to myself and I will make moves based on my own findings, right? But let me present to you the other side. Now, keep in mind, I am not trying to bash anyone, but I want to give you guys clear examples of what you're dealing with with influencers in the community. Now, this guy here, he, he just posted something very recently. And let's break down what he's saying, because I believe this is the sentiment of many of you guys that have been in the drip community, right? So let's just take it bit by bit, okay? Let's go. There have been other YouTubers that have, that I have called out, other YouTubers that were talking negatively about drip. And I would make videos responding to them. Example would be a guy, uh, his YouTube name was Mike Two Satoshi. Yo, bro, if you're watching, you were right. Another one is uh, Nakamoto Crypto, which I have a lot of respect for. He and I, you know, we debated this a little bit in a friendly manner. And uh, bro, what can I say? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing their defeat right now. There's All right. First, I want you guys to know this isn't an issue about being right or wrong, right? When my two Satoshis came out, he wasn't trying to get views or anything. He was trying to share with you guys the same thing I was sharing. He discovered some information. He saw that it wasn't in line with producing profits for investors. He himself was suffering losses, right? He did the research. He put the information out there. And uh, this guy here openly says that because he spoke negatively about Drip, he started creating videos to attack him and to talk bad about him, right? Instead of receiving the information, that's all you guys have to do is open your minds to understand what's really going on. Because if you just listen to the same rhetoric from every influencer, you're going to be conditioned to think that way. And you're going to attack people that are actually coming to help you in your investment strategies, right? So, again, this isn't about being right or wrong. Bro, you just did the same thing that so many other people in the drip community do. You, Someone says something that, again, that is against what the majority, like Pete Forex Shark or people under Forex Shark, are saying and you combat it, right? With negativity and even you debate it with another guy, which you said was a friendly debate, but you debate it with no knowledge. You did not do any research. What qualifies you to present a valid debate? Even Crypto Kings in another video, and I, I posted it in one of my earlier videos, he was talking about something. He's like, you know, why did I believe this? Well, it's because everybody else was saying it. That is not research, people. You guys are not going to understand what the truth is if you're just listening to somebody else. Do your own research, right? So this is an example from that clip. I want to go to another something he said here. All right, let's go. I think it's fair to say that... All of that, for the most part, is gone. The dumping could be over. I don't get on the, the blockchain and look to, at waltz and stuff like that. I'm sure, hey, Coach, if you're watching this, man, can you maybe take you back? You're real good at, at, at this. Just, you don't have to. All right. So now he's saying the dumping is over. <clears throat> and then ask Drip Coach to do some work for him, right? Drip Coach has already done the work, brother. He's already showing you guys how to do research. I've shown you guys how to do research. And I'm going to tell you now, the dumping is not over. Even as of today, I just did a quick inquiry. It took me less than a minute to identify that there are still over 4 million drip, liquid drip that, sit, that are sitting on the sidelines just in the top 100 holders alone. Okay? This is not over. That is still a major issue. So the dumping has not stopped. Nevertheless, you're saying, well, maybe it has. You're giving hope and information to a community by presenting this type of information on your channel and then trying to solicit Drip Coach to do it. Bruh, do your own research. 
so that when you come and present something to the community, it's factual. Don't come guessing and hoping and praying and wishing. You know, that's not going to present any valid facts, right? So guys, is this the type of content that you would prefer someone that's going to be, give you guys what he calls it, hopium in a project that is clearly failing, okay? Let's see what else he says here. I don't know, guys. I'm listening feeling very defeated. I'm just trying to look the right side of things as much as I can and know that I'm admitting when, when I'm wrong. And it looks like I'm very well uh, wrong on this because I really thought that it would never go this low. So that was that's where I'm at. Okay. Again, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about understanding, right? Not just being positive. Being positive, look where it's gotten you guys in the drip network. The price is falling. It's still falling. It will continue to fall. OK, it is not a wise investment right now. And it's not based on hope. Right. We can hope all day and all night. But we have to take action to understand what's going on ourselves. OK. Let's check this out. Final. Hopefully. Yeah, I think this is the final. One. Let's go. One thing I've learned. All right, never underestimate the power of this drip community. Believe me, if there's a project that's going to have a turnaround story, it's going to be drip. And <clears throat> So out of all of what he said and all that has happened and I, and how his maxed out wallet is almost worth nothing. He said the one thing he's learned is not to underestimate the drip community. Come on, people. Really? I mean, the one thing he should learn from all this is do your research. Understand what's going on behind the scenes. And if you can't do it yourself, that's why people like drip culture out there. That's why people like my two Satoshis was out there presenting this type of information for you guys to see. Not to shun it or speak against it, but just check it out for yourselves. OK, so if that's all you learn is to hype up the drip community and say, hey, if anything, that the community is nothing. Right. Because most of you guys in the drip community are only sitting on the sidelines, maybe dropping some comments and YouTube videos, supporting your favorite ones and bashing the ones that you don't personally like. That's pretty much all you do. Right. Not many of you guys are really active. In helping to grow anything. Right. I mean, it is what it is. So the community itself is nothing to underestimate or overestimate, right? It's just people that are investing into the drip protocol, right? So this brother right here has really learned nothing. And I hope through this video that you expand your mind, you know, uh, what beach office, you know, and actually learn how to do things yourself. I know you like coach. That's cool. A lot of people like coach, but if you want coach respect, you know, do your own research. Don't come running after him like a little baby saying, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Do it yourself. Watch his videos. Watch my videos. Watch my two Satoshi videos and learn. OK, so with all that said. Let me jump over to this quick little thing about. Uh, the animal farm. Now, we're everybody is seeing that. Drip is going like thumbs down everywhere. And once again, uh, whatever this guy's name is, uh, Crypto Kings, you know, he's doing the same thing now for the animal farm. You know, he, he can't do this for Drip anymore. Why, why is he not still posting 20x uh, or 1000x returns for Drip like he's been doing? I mean, this guy really needs to delete all his previous videos because it just shows his track record of not doing, not presenting anything factual. But he's done the same thing. And he's now doing this in Animal Farm. So I'm asking you guys, is this what you want? Is this what you prefer? Because if it is, like I say, I don't have to waste my time doing videos to share what really is going on in the drip and animal farm ecosystems, right? Coach doesn't have to, nobody has to. If this is what you guys like following, 
and losing your money at the same time, that's fine. Please drop them in the comments. You know, so like I say, I know many of you guys that follow me, that support me. You know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. I will see your comments out there if you care to leave them. But I need to see more sentiment from other community members, because if that's going on deaf ears, you know, just preaching to the choir really ain't going to help because you guys already know what's up. Right. So is my content worthwhile? Is it worth my time putting it out there and kind of getting you guys to look at things from a different perspective and giving you in-depth understanding of situations that are going on? All right. So I'm not talking about bad about Crypto Kings in this case. I'm just showing what everybody else that he already does to himself. He's always talking about 20x, 100x, 1000x on a system. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this is broken. Animal Farm is broken. Even now, I will show you why if you guys want me to continue. All right. Now, back to Ray. Let's look at some comments. So, so he's... Now he's still pushing drip and now he's pushing animal farm as well. Trying to get you guys hyped up. I see a lot of comments. You guys still want to think he's God and think you can come and ask questions to him specifically. Don't do this guys because Ray talks in a way that makes you think he knows what he's talking about, but he doesn't. I've shown this in previous videos. Some of you guys listen. And you found out, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go that route because you would have gotten wrecked. All right. So let's check out what Ray is saying here. I like I like the fact that he posts questions and answers because he's looking at the questions from you guys and then he gives a, a reply to it, which is cool. But again, Ray is a hype man. He's just sharing with you guys things to promote Forex Sharks ecosystems because he's so heavily invested in it. And these are his golden gooses, right? This is where he's making his money. So he has an incentive only to get you to invest. And you guys can't keep falling for this and think you're going to win or, or make any profits from the ecosystem. So let's say, look at what he's saying here. Okay. Drip is not the problem, instant greed is. Unfortunately, bro, you know, you cannot control what people are going to do. We have to build things. We have to evolve. We have to build things. That is so funny. Someone left a com comment saying, Drip is not the problem. Greed is. Instant greed is. And what was Ray, Ray's response? Hey, you can't control people's behavior because he's one of the primary ones that has that instant greed. And of course, we've shown that. I don't want to bash anyone in this video i'm just sharing facts with you guys and asking you the question is this what you prefer would you like to continue listening and following people like this that are going to lead you down a rabbit hole only to dip his hands in your pockets without you realizing it you're so focused about around all the smoke and the mirrors and stuff like that that you don't even understand what's going on right yes we can't control it but you know what forex shark can do some put some things in place to help erase it or minimize it particularly now with the animal farm because it's too late for drip i'm sorry people it, it, it is just too late for drip and to see people still buying it up and holding it you know just on the sidelines waiting to dump we have to make sure that never happens because once the price gets up, if they're buying at five cents, because people are still buying it, investors are still buying it, hoping that the price goes up. They're not putting it in a faucet because right now when I checked it out, uh, the price is now over in the top 100 wallets. It's over four million. A few days ago, it was under. It was like three point nine million something. Right. So people are still buying it and sitting on the sidelines, hoping that it'll go up. Keep trying to dollar cost average. And when the price goes up, trust me, they're going to dump it for a profit. Right. So drip is no longer a good investment at all until some significant things change. It just isn't. And I don't foresee it in the future. Now let's skip over to Animal Farm. And there have some issues there similar issues and i've told you guys about the referral system 
and all that other type of stuff. I'll get into that if you guys want me to present more content. Okay. Let's check out this other clip that Ray said. How will drip pump? Drip will pump because of what we're going to bring to drip, right? Taking a look at the scene, we've seen what DDD did. We're saying, okay, now we see what? Reservoir initiatives. And since some of the reservoir initiatives, we've been able to kind of stabilize. All right. So he's asking, how will drip pump? You hear the reply that Ray gives. The reply Ray gives is not an answer and it makes no sense. The only thing, and to, I'm going to answer your question, brother. The only thing that's going to make drip pump is more revenue, a significant amount of fresh capital coming in. And trust me, that is not going to come in. No millionaire is going to come and save drip and risk his and risk losing his investment because that's all that's going to happen at this point in time. So there's nothing that anyone is going to do right now to help drip pump. There's nothing, no utilities in place right now. DDD is not going to do it. The reservoir is not going to do it. You know, possibly if something like scratchies come out or another game that Forex shark creates and it starts producing income that goes into drip and starts buying up drip that's a possibility right but it's going to have to do it in mass numbers the game is going to have to have a lot of players and everything else that is not in place and it's nowhere in the near future so that's why i say guys don't put any more fresh capital in drip if you want to continue to hydrate and to build well you might as well right just don't do it too often because you're going to incur transaction fees uh, in the hydrates and stuff like that. But as it is now, don't even think about drip anymore. Now, I know quite a few of you guys that follow me uh, have tapped out and you say, hey, I'm done with drip and I'm done with all of Forex Sharks projects. And that's, again, while I'm putting this video out, because if some of you guys or most of you guys are leaving, the ones that follow me, there's really no need for me to post any other videos. Uh, I don't need to build another following for you guys to follow me on Animal Farm. I could really care less. I have better things to do with my time. But again, if you guys want me to start, keep releasing some content and to share with you what's going on in the Animal Farm and why it is not a good investment right now, Again, let me know in the comments, okay? That's all I got for you guys in this episode. And in addition to this, now, when investing in the animal farm, I also talk about not just the things that are problems with it, but things that you can do and how to invest more strategically in it. And that's just what, with what I know right now. There's still some things I, I have to watch for at Sharks voice chat and kind of find out what changes have gone on. But I'll only do that and release other videos if the sentiment for me to keep creating videos is there. If you guys don't want me releasing stuff, even the ones that, that hate on me or whatever the case is, please feel free to come out here and be like, yeah, your information really isn't helpful. I would prefer for you not to because you're dividing the community and all that type of stuff. Please feel free to leave your comments like that, too. I'm listening to the community and I'll flow with it as such. All right. Peace. I'll holler at you on the next one. Peace out.